Hey guys, me and Orange back again. It has been a long, long time since I've made a video. Uh, so I thought I would pretty much get a lot of it out of the way. Uh, I'm going to be doing a just a massive update video right now. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and cue the intro. Alright guys. First things up, I'm going to be getting uh, into my gun. A lot has changed since you last saw it. Obviously, you can uh, kind of just tell that by uh, everything that's going on. So, I'm going to start from back to front. Uh, easiest, you know. So, uh, as you can tell, I've got this sling attached here. Uh, this is a gunfighter sling by TYR Tactical, I believe. Uh, I have it kind of... Uh, looped into this rear uh, little sling mount on, this, on the crane stock and then I got the uh, it moved around to the front up here where there's a Daniel Defense Repro uh, QT sling point uh, so yeah that's uh, I it's nice that I can actually sling my weapon now uh, it's a, it is obviously a two-point sling which doesn't exactly suit my play style because I, I tend to switch hands a lot however it is nice to be able to sling this gun like and know it's not gonna fall because I'm not super trusting of condor slings concerning my brother's gun did break off or the sling broke and his his gun fell and, and ended up bending the outer barrel so that wasn't good anyway getting back to the video um, we'll move up a little bit I've had a uh, I believe an element dual uh, dual switch that controls the laser and the flashlight let's see if I can get this so I got laser going on there and the flashlight. Alright, now that I'm done blinding you, I'll show you uh, the pack box and the M600C that it's connected to. So this is a Element M600, or sorry, Element Pack 15 It's working, laser and flashlight, so that's kind of cool. Both, uh, oh, by the way, both these run off uh, CR123 batteries. Uh, on the other side, a, I have a M600C repro uh, reproduction. Uh, now this is a reproduction of the Surefire. The logos are slightly different, however, it looks the same, takes the same type of battery and the same type of connector. And it is actually a very nice reproduction as reproductions go. Uh, next, moving on to the front, I have a PTS Battle Comp Flash Hider. Although I believe that was already on, so you already saw that. So that pretty much concludes everything I changed about the gun. I haven't done anything internally, I haven't done anything too majorly externally as you can tell, just a few accessories and a sling, so that's good. I am going to be buying a sight soon. I plan on getting a Spectre DR of some sort. So if you guys happen to be watching this video and you have one to sell, I would gladly take that off your hands. Alright, moving on to my play carrier. Again, lots of has changed. Uh, first up, uh, I'll just go from front to back again. Or just go front to back. I got a Black Hawk double mag pouch in multicam. Uh, holds two. Uh, it's a little bigger than I wanted. Not quite what I was looking for. So I will be selling this. Uh, if you guys want this, uh, comment down in the description. I'll put prices in the. Or sorry, comment down in the comment section below. And I'll put prices in the description. So if you guys want to look at that, uh, it's a nice pouch. It's just not what I, uh, what I need right now. Uh, so yeah, you can buy it for me. Yeah. <laughs> Nice. Alright, moving to the other side. Because I actually don't have anything on this side. I don't run anything because this is where I actually have my pistol. So I can easily draw. However, I'm thinking of putting a, maybe a single mag pouch on this side or something. Anyway, that will come up in a different video. For this side, I have a couple of pouches. The first one is an IFAC pouch. Uh, I can't think of the, the uh, company right now, but it will be some pop-up probably right over here so yeah check that out I'm sure I'm sure I'll have a pop up there next I'm also selling this one the price for this will also be in the description as well as the actual name of it uh, also again it'll be somewhere over there um, moving on got a TYR tactical embitter pouch this is the uh, one that kind of flips out it's got the nice uh, plastic screen right there so you can see what your radius is uh, oh, sorry, it's Tactical Tailor, not TY Tactical. Anyway, yeah, it's a nice pouch. Uh, 
holds my radio, which I'll get to in a minute. Uh, it holds it very nicely, and yeah, it's, it looks nice and play great. Uh, moving back, oh, also this is not for sale. Moving back, a custom, uh, a custom back panel. This was a nice job. I bought this from a friend. Uh, he got this custom made. Uh, it's very nice. Got a utility pouch on the bottom, a couple of buckles for whatever you need to put in. A uh, four banger pouches on the top. However, I usually just put power bars because I don't actually have four bangers. And then there's a uh, one liter uh, hydro uh, pouch. I guess it can hold a one liter uh, hydro. Um, this is also for sale again. Uh, prices and will be in the description. However, I don't have a name for this. It's just a custom tailored back panel. However, it's a nice quality. Uh, my friend bought it for about 150, 160. So that's what I'm going to be basing my price off. And obviously, it's very nice. Um, but yeah, that's about it for my plate carrier. Uh, going to be moving on to the next thing, which is my radio. Uh, this is a new radio. I saw my HD1000. Uh, however, that's all um, very hard program. It's only VHF. Uh, this is a much easier program radio. This is a Baofeng uh, UV5R, the uh, normal edition, not the plus, because it can take this extended battery. Normally, pick it up. Normally, it takes this battery. It's a very small battery. I can actually throw it on for you guys makes the radio look much smaller as you can tell not as cool looking also it doesn't fit as well in my ember pouch so this expander battery is both functional and makes it look cosmetically better uh, I was actually running I actually ran this for a two-day event never had to change the battery that being said I did turn the radio off some uh, sometimes but it did last the whole the whole game still has three bar uh, has full battery it says on the radio uh, so yeah very nice radio. Uh, I can actually prove how easy to program it is. I could I could channel or I could program it right here. Got any frequency you want. Uh, we'll just leave it at 450.345 and then and then all I have to do is go right there and then I can set it anywhere. So yeah, pretty much just then I uh, I just change the channel if I if I if I actually wanted to change the channel I could have done it in that amount of time. So that's nice. Anyway, uh, this thing dangling off. This is a Baofeng, uh, just, you know, hand mic. Kind of nice. Oh, every, by the way, every, yeah, it's, this is a nice radio. Everything clicks well here. All, all the buttons click well. It's a nice radio. Uh, clicking is nice. Uh, however, that being said, the antenna, the stock antenna it comes with is not very good. I'm going to be ordering a new one soon. Couldn't, couldn't penetrate some of the thicker forest brush and etc etc so yeah I'm gonna be buying a new antenna for that for this soon that'll come in probably in a boxing video or maybe it'll come with it, some other stuff anyway moving on this portion is basically all cell uh, actually it is all cell so if you guys want to just tune off now that that's perfectly okay uh, moving on all right moving to the stuff I'm selling uh, got a lot of nice stuff uh, you know yeah so right here Two ITW fast mags. Prices for these will be in the description. I'm actually gonna zoom in a little. So yeah, but pricing for these will be in the description below. Um, but these are all. This is all real. Uh, from here on out, it's all real stuff. So real ITW fast mags. Very nice. It just again, kind of like everything else. Not not exactly what I need right now. Uh, I haven't been using this much in the field because it doesn't suit me. Next we have. Two Eagle Industries, uh, uh, nine millimeter double stack pistol mag pouches. These are very nice. They got the Kydex inserts going on. However, it doesn't fit great with Glock mags, so I probably will not be hanging on to these. Uh, but uh, yeah, you know, not the greatest fit, so why keep them? Uh, and moving on to the last thing I'm gonna sell. I actually have to zoom out again for this. We've got cry precision field pants these are pretty nice pants it just I don't really need multi-cam pants right now uh, but uh, yeah I can it's got the uh, insert you can insert the uh, 
uh, knee pads through here, and then I can, uh, yeah. These are not, um, this is very nice, it's very good condition. Got the cry, uh, let's see if we can see this. Got the cry precision logo right, or the tag right there, and the logo is right around here somewhere. Let me see if I can find it. Uh, All right, so through the magic of editing, I managed to lose my gloves. Plus, I found the little Cry Precision logo. So that's actually upside down. Well, oh no, it's not. Never mind. We're good. Uh, so yeah, Cry Precision logo, and there is a multicam tag somewhere here, but it's less important. Uh, yeah, it's less important. So you know, take it how you want, guys. You already saw that it's quite precision, and clearly it is in multicam, so that's cool. Anyway, uh, prices for this will also be in the description. So yeah, this has been a t almost 13 minute long video, uh, kind of doing an update on everything I have done in the past month or so since I haven't posted a video. Uh, also, I went to Operation Blackjack 2, uh, a video for that will be probably be somewhere like right here-ish. Oh, let's see if I can get my fingers right. Eh, eh, there, eh, backwards. Whatever, it's gonna be somewhere here. Uh, that's actually gonna be on my brother's channel because he has all of the footage. So, you know, that's probably good that he does it. Anyway, uh, yeah, I also have another video that is on my brother's channel, which will be right here. And, uh, yeah, that's a just that's just a video at our local field called Black Ops Airsoft. It's it's an okay field, you know. Uh, it's nice for testing out stuff and uh, just blowing off some steam, you know. Nice weekend fun. Anyway, uh, let's see. There was something. All oh, right, uh, I'm gonna be buying a lot of stuff upcoming a lot of gun upgrade parts uh specifically focusing on the m700 uh we have an old video of that that will link right here look at all these links i mean i'm just giving you a ton of videos anyway uh yeah it's a lot of stuff for that i'm gonna get a lot of stuff for my plate carrier and then i'm pretty much gonna be done buying stuff other than a few things here and there like a new battery kind of things like that anyway uh yeah so this has been a almost 15 minute long video I am finally signing off so this is uh, yeah this is an orange and an apple and or raven slash nomad depending on which channel you're looking at uh, so yeah thanks for watching please rate comment and subscribe and let's wait for the 15 minute mark bye